you're going to be able to answer questions one, two, and three by the end of our little talk, and then you'll be doing the remainder of your reflection. Um, if you need help on questions two or three, which is the score for the highest and what were you being tested, that information is here for you. Question number five and six you'll be answering after you have had your little conference with me. Please remember that the goal for today is for you all to have a good understanding of what you're doing well in class and what you're not doing so well in. Uh, the goal is to also make sure that you have information that you can then discuss with your parents over the weekend when you hold your own conference with them in, your, in the luxury of your own home. By the end of class today, not only should you have your background and what you have been doing in math class, you should also have a calendar for February to help you actually do as well as you've been doing, if not better. Make sense? So as I call you up one by one, you need to make sure that you have your reflection sheet. Is everybody listening to what I'm saying? Put your pencil down. You need to have your reflection sheet, your index card, and your notebook. Just those three things. Reflection sheet, index card, notebook. If you have not written your name on your index card yet, please do that. If you get done with questions one through four, inside your notebook is a place for you to record your In the front of your notebook, there's a place for you to record your CDA scores as well as your projected scores. You can do all of that as well while you are working. Well, Desiree don't even have her notebook on her desk, so. Yes, I do. Where is your notebook? Desiree, that is not the notebook I gave y'all. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Leah, you can be first. <laughs> Did you remember what you're supposed to bring with you? Jesus. You can bring him too, but. <laughs> Reflection sheet, notebook, index card. And you need a pencil. This is just the average that you've done so far, right? Do you think you're going to stay here? Could you no. slip, go like higher? I don't go here. Yeah, so then I want you to write that down and you need to tell me what percentage you think you're going to get correct. What percentage of what? What percent of the test you're going to get correct? So, these numbers are. so you need to get a 70 on the test, a 60 on the test, a 83 on the test. Question number one is what you are predicting. Question number two is what the state predicts. The state is predicting, Aaliyah, that you're going to get a 50% score on this year's ELG. And where does that fall on our list? Yeah. Do you think that that is what you should be getting? No. Like, do you think that's an accurate projection? No. Why? You what? I don't put any effort in these tests. So wait, is that correct then? Did the state project correctly? Or did you project correctly? Oh, the state projected correctly. That's not what I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? I know that. Knowing that, so 50% and that's a level two, right that next to it, I'm saying. So 
basically what you're telling me is that you're going to make 33% growth from this level to this level. Is that what you are willing to do? Is that what you're willing to do? Yeah. Is that what you can do? Yeah. Okay. So while we're doing the rest of this reflection, question number four asks how much homework you can do. I want you to think about that and answer it honestly. I already know what the answer is. You already know what the answer is. But you're going to have to explain that also to your mom, right? Next for number five, what is your projected ELG score? So that's what we just wrote down here. Your projected ELG score is 50% correct or level two. Go ahead and write that down. Is the score higher or lower than your CDA average? So now, Leah, I want you to look at this average here, and I want you to look at what they have projected. You told me that this is not what you are capable of. This is not what you're going to get, right? Do you see that that's what you've been doing in class? Yeah. So is this a true reflection of what you know? No. What is this a reflection of? That's what you're so answering. What I do? I answered that up. Mm -hmm. question's not answered. Mm -hmm. So then that's what this is asking for you in question number six. Okay. Before you answer that, here are some things that you can do at home that I've seen work, especially for the girls that we had this year and the girls that we had last year. When you're going through this list, I want you to actually think of the things that you're going to use over and over again. And you're only needing to pick three of them. Once you've chosen your three, you're going to create a calendar for when you're going to, like, if you're doing I ready for 20 minutes a day, you need to create a calendar for what days you're actually going to do it. I don't expect that you're going to do I ready from February 3rd all the way up until February 28th. Will it help? Sure. But at the end of the day, you still have a life and you're still a kid and you shouldn't be on the computer all day doing I ready. When you're choosing your calendar, also think about things that are coming up in your family schedule, church, whatever the case may be. Just make sure that you're real with what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. Make sense? Okay. So you're finishing up these questions, four, five, and six, and then you're creating your calendar. This index card, the last question you need to answer is down here. Okay. In the front of your notebook, you're putting the same information again. And the reason why we keep writing this down is because we need to be very familiar with it. So in the front of your notebook, when it asks for your projected um, your state projected percentile, it will be 51%, and the percent goal is 50%. Make sense? Mm -hmm. okay, so that's what you're putting in the front of that other one. If you need to take that one out and put it in here, there's glue sticks for you to do that. Mm -hmm. 